What's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to Deuce of Farms. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about, boom, the Grove bags. And I'm just going to review them, give my audience opinion on them, and let you guys know if they are worth it. And before we get started, I just want to quickly put it out there. If new hat, same me. Go ahead and head over to shopdusa.com. It'll be linked down below in the description. And check out these hats. Let me know what you think. If you don't like them, I don't care. I'm still going to put that information out there, and you do with it as you please. But without further ado, let's get back into talking about the Grove bags. Right here, we have the half-pound bags. Um, fairly big, as you can see. Bigger than my head. I got a pretty big head. But... That's a, that's the half pound and I bought three of those. So when it comes to are they worth it? I bought three of those half gallon bags for $24 altogether. Now that's including shipping. I believe individually I paid for all three. It was like $9 before taxes and everything like that, like $9.27. And then the shipping was like another $14. So it put me at $24 altogether. And when I'm talking about being worth it, like to me, you can't beat that. Like that is fairly like inexpensive. It's fairly cheap. I was surprised. Like when I first found out about them, I was like probably going to be like $20 a bag, some crazy stuff. I'm like, I heard what they can do. And I'm just like, they're definitely going to be expensive. So I was like, I don't know. I go check the website out. And I will say I had a bad, I had some, I went on the website, my phone, I clicked the wrong stuff. I think I was ordering in bulk. I bought three of them, looked at my subtotals in the thousands. I was like, whoa, but I was buying in bulk. I figured it out. So if your total comes out of that, you probably did what I did. So just make sure you go because they have different things from like commercial to the home grower. So make sure you're in the right section. Um, but when it comes to the price, mason jars are what? For a 64-ounce one, I believe they're around $15. Depending on your location, it could be higher. They could be lower. And you would think a lot more could fit in those. So I had a pound and a half, and I was thinking, like, yeah, they could definitely fit in the mason jar, right? So I bought that 64-ounce one. I think I bought two of them, or maybe just one. I think it was two. And I thought my, I thought it was one. I thought that pound and a half could fit in there. I don't know why looking at it. I was like, yeah, it could fit in there. I put it in there. No, no way. Right. And I paid what, like 15 bucks for it. So I think I went and bought another one and still wasn't, you know, still wasn't enough. Right. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's 30 bucks right there. To me, I'm a fairly cheap person. So then I found out about Grove bags. I was like, let me order some. I ordered some of those saw the price i was like you're kidding me i was like that shipping is going to be crazy which i was like so you let me let me order three so i don't have to order more in the future for the time being which i do plan on ordering some more but i was like i'll just order that three i should be good it should get my whole pound and a half in there and it did it, it held now while curing with mason jars you're gonna have to burp them periodically with the grove bags they tell you that you do not have to burp so it's burpless and to me i find that to be true it locks in there pretty well if you put in there dry enough now i got a quick story uh, with that pound and a half, I ruined it. I will not lie. It was not dry enough. Five days in, I was like, I'm going to California. I'm taking a trip. I'm going on vacation. I was like, you know what? Let me do this, right? So I just dry, threw them in there to cure. Came back there in the Grove bags. I'm like, I can't wait to get back. I love the way they smell. Nice vanilla blueberry smell. I was like, ooh, I can't wait. Get back. Guess what? 97, 98% humidity. And I was like, I'm just like, man, the Grove bags don't work, right? No, I don't work. I didn't put them in there at the right dry. You know, I can't expect that to let them dry. Where are the holes at to let all that out? You know, they got their technology, but it's pretty, it's, it's meant to lock it in at its level. You know, if you put it in there right, it's going to come out right. You put it in there wrong, guess what? It's going to come out wrong. In my case, I put it in there wrong, came out wrong and destroyed it, right? Still smoked it, of course. <laughs> what? Of course. Still, you know, I put it in the grow bags at the right dryness and it kind of like they bounced back a little bit, had a little bit more flavor, a little bit more smell, but still it was ass. So me being new, I'm just thinking I could put it in there. Oh, it's going to get it to 58. It's going to continue drying and then it's going to get to where it needs to be and lock in. No, that's not how it works. So what happens is if you put it in there dry enough, if you put it in there, if like if it were in a mason jar, you got to treat it the same way still. So if your bud's dry enough, you put it in your mason jar and it's at 62 you know, you're going to burp it and stuff like that, but it should remain there because you got it dry enough. Same thing with these. If you put it in there dry enough, it's going to lock in between 58 to 62. Now I've put it in there one time. I put it in there about 65% humidity. I can always keep the hygrometer in there regardless because I can't just trust that it's at what it's at. So I still keep the hygrometer in there. I put something in there. It was at 65. And then guess what? It's not dry enough. You know, so I burped it. It got down to where it needed to be. Locked in at 61%, so I was good with that. Also, one thing I really want to touch on, I want to give the kudos to Grove Bags. Like, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I will just drop a discount code on if it still works, but it's code Tyler. That's not my name. That's actually, I had reached out to them, and they told me that was a discount code they had, so it could still be going. I think that's one of the employees' name. So if you use code Tyler, common spelling, T-Y-L-E-R, yeah, 
you should be able to get 10% off or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a couple months, but hopefully that works for you. But one thing I really want to talk about, for one, I said the price. Two, the technology, what it was able to do, uh, mold prevention, all that, because it's getting everything right to where it needs to be. It's holding at what it's supposed to. But one thing I want to talk about is its ability to preserve those terpenes. Like, if everything's right, it's coming out right. When I, my previous grows, I've dried off cured in mason jars up until this point. That's all I've used. That's all I've known was mason jars. And I thought that was like the only way. It's like, that's the best way to go with mason jars. But I was like, I know there's no way like these big growth facilities are using mason jars. It makes no sense. But on their site, you'll see they range all the way from the home grower all the way up to the commercial and everything in between. So it's pretty cool to see that type of stuff. They're looking out for everybody and they're trying to like get their technology out there to everybody. But like I said, that terpene preservation, oh my gosh. Best cure I've had so far, best buds I've had so far. It could be the strain I've grown. It could be just my ability to grow better. But I won't even put it on there because I've had a bad grow. I put it in there, you know, with the, the one I told you was too wet. And it, it was butt, but it still, you know, bounced back a little bit once I got everything dialed in. But man, the last couple ones, and I've had the problem when I wasn't using mason jars, I don't know what I was doing, maybe not burping enough, maybe the hygrometer being messed up, just something, you know, something's not right. And the flavor as time went on, I'm not, a, my ability to taste the flower and stuff like that, I'm not the best at tasting bud. I can't tell you if it was growing soil, soilless, I'm, I'm not that, I'm not that guy. Some of you may be that guy or a gal, but I just don't have that ability to lock in like that. Maybe COVID did it to me, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know, the taste just ain't there for me. But some things, I, I can get a little taste, but I just really can't break it down. And before, mason jars, as time went on, it would degrade. You know, the taste is not there, doesn't smell the same, doesn't feel the same. But when I switch to this, it's like what I what I was originally taking a picture of for Instagram is still that two weeks later, three weeks later, four weeks later. I'm like, yo, this is the same. Like, I'm like, oh, it's still beautiful. It's still every time I open the bag, just, you know, like it just is really good. Like, I'm like, I'm loving it. I'm just like, wow, like. And at first, I didn't know. I'm just thinking, like, maybe I'm getting used to the blood. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe the growth suck, genetics. That's just how it goes. But when I switched to this, it was game changer for me. At more, The more I progress, the more I learn, the more I try new things out. That's what everything's about to me. I feel like just try some stuff out. Somebody says try ice. Somebody says uh, 48 hours of light. Just try stuff out. You know, don't try nothing crazy out, I man, unless you got a little. Do that on the small scale. When you go to try stuff out, do that, like, little science project on the side. Don't do it on, like. 30 plants or whatever you're growing don't do it on like the main thing you want to smoke because you might ruin it all but try some stuff out see what you like me it's for the price i'm honestly the price is right when it comes to these when it comes to these i don't know why i was just i was posing for the thumbnail but when it comes to these i i recommend them i swear by them I'm not going to say, hey, you go out and buy them, but if I were to recommend them, somebody asked me what I should cure in, especially a new grower, I would say go with something like this, but I think we should all start mason jars or something like that. If that's what you got around the house, go with it. Stick with that if that's what you like, but for people that just, you know, want a little assistance and want some, you know, some for sure stuff, to me, I, I think this is the way to go, but like I said, it still has the ability to, you know, some user error does still come into play, so just because it can't save everything, you know, you, you're still going to be able to, it's still, it still, it gives you that buffer, it's kind of like soil, I believe, it gives you, you know, you have that buffer, but you can still mess some stuff up, and that's how I feel about them, like if, like I did, not right, not drawing enough, put it in there, mess some stuff up. But that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Like I said, if I had to rate them out of stars, I don't want, I want to say five stars, but I haven't tried so much. So I would definitely say 4.989. Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I would give them five stars. I would definitely give them a high rating. I would, I would just say recommended. I'm definitely, it's the first thing I would recommend. That's how I'll rate them. It's the first thing I would recommend to somebody. And that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And even though YouTube isn't going to notify you, turn the notification bells on because it looks good in analytics and it helps with the algorithm, but you probably still won't get notified. But I do appreciate you all that have them on. And until next time, peace. This video is brought to you with the help of the channel's sponsors. Spider Farmer is a familiar name to most home growers, and that's due to the countless people that use their products. I'm currently using their SE5000 LED grow light, which is a 500 watt light, and I'm using that in my 4x4 tent. This light fits perfectly within my tent and offers max light coverage throughout the entire canopy. 
I'm honestly a huge fan of the bar style lights and they do it right over at Spider Farmer but the main reason I'm attracted to this light is due to the aesthetic and the accents of the orange that these lights it just caught my eye and it's part of the logo color so I had to go with that. They have a huge variety of LEDs ranging from 30 watts all the way up to 1000 watts so it's safe to say there's something in there for all growers. If you're interested in checking out any other products check out the links down below in the description they'll lead you straight to their website as well as Spider Farming being nice enough to give us a discount code. So at checkout make sure you use code DUSA Farms and earn yourself a discount. Yes, I do earn commission from referrals, but it's only 3%, so it's not a lot. But at the end of the day, any purchase will help out the channel a lot.